Following the 3,500-year reign of the tyrant Leto II, an empire was left to fend for itself. During the famine times and the subsequent scattering, the remnants of the human race cast themselves far into the wilderness of space. They fled to unknown realms where they sought riches and safety to no avail. For 1,500 years, these survivors and their descendants endured terrible hardships, a whole reorganization of humanity. Stripped of its energy and resources, the ancient government of the old empire fell away. New power groups took root and grew strong, but never again would humans allow themselves to depend upon a monolithic leader or a key finite substance. Single points of failure. Some say the scattering was Leto II's golden path, a crucible in which to strengthen the human race forever, to teach us a lesson we could not forget. But how could one man, even a man-god who was partially a sandworm, willingly inflict such suffering upon his children? Now that descendants of the lost ones are returning from the scattering, we can only imagine the true horrors our brothers and sisters faced out there. Guild Bank Records, Gamu Branch. Even the most learned of us cannot imagine the scope of the scattering. As a historian, I am dismayed to think of all the knowledge that has been lost forever, the accurate records of triumphs and tragedies. Entire civilizations rose and fell while those who remained in the old empire sat in complacency. New weapons and technologies were spawned by the hardships of the famine times. What enemies did we inadvertently create? What religions, distortions, and social processes did the tyrant set in motion? We can never know, and I fear that this ignorance will come back to haunt us. Sister Tamerlane, Chapter House Archives our own estranged brothers, those lost Tleilaxu who vanished in the turmoil of the scattering, have come back to us. But they are changed in fundamental ways. They bring an improved strain of face dancers with them, asserting that they designed these shapeshifters themselves. My analysis of the lost Tleilaxu, however, indicates that they are clearly inferior to us. They cannot even create spice from axolotl tanks, but they claim to have developed superior face dancers? How can that be? And the honored matres. They make overtures of alliance, yet their actions show only brutality and the enslavement of conquered peoples. They have destroyed Rakis. How can we have faith in them or in the lost Tleilaxu. Master Sightail, sealed notes found in burned lab on Tleilax. Duncan, Idaho, and Shiana have stolen our no-ship and flown off to points unknown. They took with them many heretical sisters, even the Gola of our Bashar Miles Teg. With our newly forged alliance, I am tempted to command all Bene Gesserits and Honored Matres to turn their attention to recapturing this ship and its valuable passengers. But I will not. Who can find a no-ship out in the vast universe? More importantly, we can never forget that a far more dangerous enemy is coming for us. Emergency message from Merbella, Reverend Mother Superior and Great Honored Matre.